What's up guys, welcome back to SL Prime. So you may be wondering, how do I upgrade or downgrade my Android software to any specific version I want? Like from Android 10 to 7 or Android 7 to 10 instantly in one install. Well you're going to need a computer of course, I'm on Windows 10 right now and you're going to need to download three files. File number one is USB drivers. So I actually made a link in the description, click on the first link and it's going to be a direct download link to give you the file. Go ahead and move the file to the desktop when you're done. And then the second thing you're going to need is ADB platform tools. So go ahead and click on the link. It's, it's another direct link and move the file into the desktop. Now the third step is you're going to want to open the factory images page and then find a specific version of Android for your Pixel device. Alright, so you have all three files on the desktop. So now the first thing you want to do is extract the USB drivers files. Go ahead and move those into the desktop too. And then click on it. And then go ahead and install the drivers by clicking on this file called Android WinUSB.inf. Right click and then click on install. Do you want to allow this device? And you click OK. Alright, so now the second step, we're done with this. Let's put it away. Let's go ahead and extract the platform tools folder. Again, extract it to desktop and then move the files so you where you can see them. So I have two monitors, so you couldn't see it at first, but anyways, you extracted it. Now go ahead and move go into the folder and then drag out the folder back into the desktop because it made two folders. All right, now there should be a folder with all the files. Okay, once you're done with that, go ahead and open the, go ahead and put away the zip file into somewhere else so it won't be distracting. And then go ahead and go to your Pixel uh, Android file. So this is for Android 10 for the Pixel XL. I'm trying to do a clean install, but you can do Android 7, 8, 9, 10, doesn't matter. So go ahead and extract the files to your desktop again. Alright, now it's done. Go ahead and move the zip file away somewhere. Alright, now open the file and then drag all the files inside the folder into the platform tools folder. Now there's nothing in here, so you can go ahead and delete it. Alright, so now we have all the files we need to start installing. First, you want to rename the folder to something shorter, so just type in tools or something simple. Alright, now we can go back to the factory images page and start following the instructions. Alright guys, the first step you want to do is turn on developer settings. So go ahead and go to about phone and then build. And then click on it like four times. Then enter your pin. Alright, now you're a developer. Now go to developer settings. And then turn on USB debugging. And then click OK. Now go ahead and plug in your device to the computer. Alright, now click on OK. If this doesn't pop up, it means you installed your USB drivers incorrectly. Continue these steps on the computer. Alright, once you enabled the developer options and turned on USB debugging, go ahead and continue following the instructions. So it says, using the ADB tool, execute ADB reboot bootloader. Alright, to enable or to turn on the ADB tools, you can, you're going to need to open command prompt on your computer. CD desktop desk top and then CD tools what we did is basically link the command prompt to the tools folder 
So now you're ready to execute ADB files. Okay, now it says to ADB reboot bootloader. So go ahead and then copy this. And then go back to the command prompt and then right click and then paste. There. So now click enter. Make sure you go back to your phone and click on allow USB debugging. Make sure you click the box always allow from this computer so then you won't have to redo this step over and over. Alright, now enter the same command again. Now your phone should turn off and then black screen for a couple seconds and then it's going to open the Android uh, surgery menu as I call it. It looks like this. Alright, next step you want to do is unlock the bootloader. Just go ahead and open the steps for that. Just type in fast boot flashing unlock. There. So my device is already unlocked, so it just says device already unlocked. But your device should like flash screen for a couple seconds and then turn back on. And then type in flash all. like this flash dash all then click enter and now you just wait for it to do the magic yeah yeah your phone should turn off right now now it's waiting for it to turn back on and now it's sending more files and then it's turning it back off again on and off, on and off. This might take a few minutes, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and then pause the video, and then I'll be back when it's all finished. 